GPCRS are the largest family of cell surface receptors that transmit signals to intracellular targets via the intermediary action of trimeric GTP binding proteins called G proteins. GPCRS are present in all eukaryotes. They include the receptors for many neurotransmitters and hormones. In addition, the GPCR family includes a large number of receptors that are responsible for smell, light and taste. Despite the chemical and functional diversity of the signal molecules that bind to them, all GPCRs have a common structure. GPCRs consist of a single transmembrane polypeptide of multipass nature. They cross the lipid bilayer seven times and are therefore called serpentine receptors as well. GPCRS are linked to trimeric G proteins, simply G proteins. G proteins are GTPase switch proteins. These proteins are turned on when bound to GTP and turned off when bound to GDP. G proteins are attached to the cytosolic face of the plasma membrane. Ligand binding to GPCR leads to activation of a trimeric G protein. All trimeric G proteins contain three subunits, alpha, beta and gamma. The alpha and gamma subunits of G proteins are anchored to the membrane lipids covalently. The beta subunit is always complexed with the gamma subunit forming the heterodimeric structure G-beta-gamma. The alpha subunit is a GTPase switch protein that alternates between an active state with bound GTP and an inactive state with bound GDP. Binding of a trimeric G protein to an activated receptor leads to dissociation of GDP, binding of GTP to G alpha, and dissociation of G alpha GTP from G beta gamma. G alpha and GTP and G beta gamma can specifically interact with effector proteins such as enzymes and ion channels in the plasma membrane, which relay the signal onward. The intrinsic GTPase activity of G-alpha inactivates G-alpha GTP by catalyzing GTP hydrolysis. G-alpha GDP then dissociates from its effector and reassociates with G-beta-gamma. Thus, when a GPCR is activated, it acts like a guanine nucleotide exchange factor GEF and induces the A subunit to release its bound GDP, allowing GTP to bind in its place. GPCRs typically have seven membrane-spanning domains. In the absence of signal molecule, the heterotrimeric G protein complexes in an inactive GDP-bound form. On binding of signal molecule to the receptor, there is a conformational change of the receptor and activation of the G protein.
This results from the exchange of GDP with GTP on the alpha subunit, after which alpha and beta gamma dissociate, both of which then interact with various targets, such as enzymes and ion channels in the plasma membrane, which relay the signal onward. The GET pays activity of the G-alpha determines the length of time that the signal remains on. It possesses a built-in mechanism of signal termination. Within a short time the G-alpha subunit undergoes auto-inactivation due to its GT pays activity. In many cases, a protein termed RGS, regulator of G-protein signaling, accelerates GTP hydrolysis by the G-alpha subunit. Thus, RGS proteins act as alpha subunit-specific GTPase-activating proteins, GAPs, 